What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today you guys, we are not at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. We are actually somewhere in South Florida where we are gonna go see wild monkeys. And a lot of people are gonna say there's wild monkeys in South Florida and there really are wild monkeys here. So we're here with Missy and Missy's gonna explain to us a little bit of different types of, well, there's only one species of monkey here and we're gonna go see them and look at them and talk about them and see why they came here and how they've been here and all the cool things about them. All right, so we're here with Missy and right behind us we have one of the monkeys right there so i guess tell me a little bit about how they got here and everything i guess about these monkeys where they came from all right yeah, so they're african green monkeys okay. and they were actually imported in during the late 19th not like our house we got big airplanes here oh, yeah. <laughs> so these are african green monkeys they're a type of fervent monkey um they're from west africa and they were imported in during the late 1940s by the Dandy Chimpanzee Farm or by a medical train. Oh wow. And then a small group escaped in 1947, 1948. Yeah. I think it was approximately 12 to 15 individuals. They never caught them so the monkeys that you see here in Dania come the from same. that escapee group, right? Wow, so they just stayed here for that long and obviously bred and everything. Yeah, yeah, we're up to a population of 40 and we haven't really seen much of a change. So um, a student at FAU named Bill Heiler did a study in 1991-92 and he counted 36 individuals. We started our project in January of 2014 with only 36 individuals, wow. which I thought was weird because yeah. they're a highly adaptable primate. I uh -huh. would expect for them to really start populating. Yes, yeah. and we've only seen about 40 consistently for the last eight years that we've been out yeah. here collecting data. Well, maybe possibly with you said this land over here is only a few acres. Maybe right. just there's just enough food for just that size of a group. Right. So that could be like the, a carrying capacity type yeah, of thing. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And they love human food, so I think they've learned to adapt to some of the urban landscapes as well. Definitely. Yeah. So you said in this group here, there's about 14 of them? There are 16, 16. plus an infant. So it's baby yeah. season right now. Okay. So hopefully we'll see a couple more infants. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. So there was earlier a few of them, you guys. So there's one there and there's another one somewhere in the tree, but they all probably went back into the mangroves. They go in and out of the mangroves all the time. All right. So Missy was saying this was, which one was her name? This is Jackie. Jackie. And when I first started, she was actually about two months old. Oh, wow. And yes, yeah, so I've seen her have three infants of her own so far. So it's been great just to watch them grow up into adults. So how old do you think she is now? Oh, she was born in November of 2013. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, she's about nine. So she doesn't have a baby right now, though? She does. She has an infant named Goose. And okay. And the infant, since he is not with her, they do babysit. Oh, wow. So one of the females in the group taking is taking care, care of it. Care of it That's right? awesome. Yep. So it's interesting to watch this alloparenting type of thing take place. If here. you guys look over there, there's another one coming in as well. And that is Spike. Spike. Yes. He's the youngest male and he's <clears> the <throat> alpha male of the group. Okay. Right. So and how many males and females are in this group? There's two males okay. and the remainder are six adult females and then it's a mixture of juveniles and then the one infant. Got it. Right. Yeah. Do they fight for like territory and all that or this whole group is just this established? This group stays here and we haven't reported any intergroup um, aggression between across the street and yeah, that spike. So there is another troop across the street. Right. Yeah. And we haven't seen them interact, which I think is very interesting. I think it's just because they know if they stay on this side of the street, they are secured resources. With yeah, food. he's gorgeous. Yeah, he's handsome, right? What part of Africa are these guys from? They are from West Africa. So okay. like Sierra Leone, Senegal. People on my ranch don't know, but next uh, month in August, me and her, we're going to Africa. Oh, what part? Uh, yeah. South Africa. We're oh, going to, uh, oh, there's a bunch of rivets there. It's a different species, but they'll be there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, they're uh, distributed throughout. Africa. They're so. going to a real big game reserve there oh, to go see time. all sorts of stuff. Oh, you're going to have a beautiful time down there. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this female coming in might be Snow White. I can't tell. Snow White. She's the alpha. She's very bossy. She's in everyone's business. That's funny. Yes. And it's funny because you'll see that they have personalities just like people. And yeah. you have the nosy one. You have the shy one. And it's interesting just to see this play out within this group So here. one of the other reasons why I came out here to put Missy as well is for this right here, this enclosure. So this enclosure is here now because people have been capturing the animals in other places and FWC is not letting the people, once they capture them, let them back go in the wild. So unfortunately, even though 
this is their troop and they've been here for over 80 years now now they have to go in a cage if they get caught somewhere else so i guess explain a little more about that right with their non-native status uh any animal that you take into your possession or is in your control you can't release due to the laws right. and so sadly some of these animals are trapped as a nuisance or taken as a pet and it would be great to have a safe space for them to come once they are confiscated or if they are caught by fish and wildlife so they have plans of making a whole nother cage over there just in case for a backup enclosure because this one's going to be home for one that got caught in miami you're saying he was out caught actually by the port okay as a nuisance and this was back in 2020 oh, wow. and so we didn't have our permits or a space back then so yeah. now we have the space the gentleman says you can get him back so this will be our first monkey will be Perfect. spock yep and then we're hoping as needed if the animal's injured yeah. confiscated as an illegal pet yeah. or trapped as a nuisance or dispersing we would like to be the first person that they call all the links will be down below you guys and on the screen as you guys see so if you guys have any donations or anything that make sure you guys hit them up send them a couple of donations and stuff so they can build another cage coming soon yes. so they can take care of any of animals that come right later, if yeah happens. yeah it would be such a nice thing to have Definitely. the space built out and have yeah. a good a good safe space for them you know like a good home so exactly. to speak. all right so i think there's another one coming right now but missy how old do these guys kind of like live for about in captivity they can live 20 25 years okay. and what i've read in literature in africa the average age is 12 and that's because they have lots of predators yeah. that you will not see here in Navy no. Beach. yeah there you go yeah so here they have no predators except really human if you're trying to come over here and trying to take them from the wild which i guess I don't know. They're not, they're not supposed to do that, really. At the end no, of the day. You, yeah, it's illegal to trap without a permit. Got it. And um, but I think people just historically have done that over the years since the monkeys have been here. So Got I think it. that's part of why we haven't seen. But I've lived here grow. in Florida my whole life, and I've seen one of them before, just running across the street. Oh wow! Okay. It was on Old Griffin Road. Yes, south of the then. Cutoff Canal. Yeah. Okay. Way back then, probably like eight years ago. Oh and wow! Then, planes then coming. I, Wait. Oh. More planes. Oh, so this is Hagen. So what he likes to do, the males like to try to intimidate you. <clears throat> yeah, so he's going to do eyelid flashes. He's going to stare at you. Sometimes he'll lunge at you. And it's his attempt to threaten you. Yeah, to challenge me, right? Yeah, but it's very cute, so it never works. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah, so I that's guess. a young male. Like, yeah. Like a year, two years old, maybe? He Higgins is two, yep. Yeah. Cute. So they reach sexual maturity in males at the age of five. And then they disperse out, and this is when they get in trouble. They leave the space. Got it. They so that's go, when they get in trouble. They get electrocuted, run over by cars, yep. or fish and wildlife will grab them. So it's kind of good the population is not too big either because there really isn't not too many places for them to go. So it stays small, stays nice. Yes. So that's a, a sexual mature female or no? Uh, they reach, um, in this species, about the age of four. So the female's four and the male's around five. five. Yep. That's Rose. Her and Bill are best friends. We got a whole group coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll come in and out. Check that out, Hi, you guys. Anna. She's a good girl, right? Your mommy's favorite. We won't tell anybody that. So if you guys are in South Florida and you guys see these monkeys, don't really approach them, but just look at them from a distance, videotape them, <laughs> and just respect them. Just like how you respect somebody else. May what? May 22nd. May 22nd. Look at that little uh, guy. Looks like aliens. Yeah, little aliens. <laughs> <laughs> they're very protective. 
That's so cool how they go from parent to parent. Yeah, Do they, the does he nurse effort. off everybody? Excuse me? Does he nurse off everybody? Nope, we haven't seen any owl nursing. Interesting. Yeah. So okay. they just take care of him? Yeah. Babysitters, real nice. Community effort here, you know? That's good. Yeah, he's so curious though. It's crazy, he has like no hair. No, I know, right? And the little blue bodies. That's how they normally look though? Yep. You've always seen like that? And he's a boy? Yep, a little male, yeah. So naturally where they come from in Africa, this is a complete different habitat. Right, because I think it's a mixed habitat. Yeah. Yeah. It's more probably no swamp, really? Or yeah, I think there's one population that there's swamp that I've read about okay. in swamps in East Africa, but apart from that it's the typical savannas and oh, wow. urban matrix and Oh they just established comes in. Oh my god, look at that. And if anybody just joined on right now. They might be looking like that there's a cage, but they're not in no cage. This is, how many acres one more time? 16. 16 acres of a troop of 14? Uh, 16, 16 plus the infant. So, so there you go. Yeah. So 17, an acre per monkey. Yeah, and that's Bella <laughs> and Rose, and Bella's actually the sister. Oh, wow. holding him back yeah he so wants to explore and like, look at this yeah. one in the tree right there eating its leaf Laying back Taking eating a cigarette right yep good job Olivia what where's mom so I assume mom comes back every couple yeah, hours to nurse yeah sometimes she'll just come back and he'll start doing a call it's a call that will be like mom mom and then mom will show up and there's mom right there See if you get to oh. oh, you guys just leave your baby behind? What kind of parenting is that? Is that one it's mom? No, she she's at the end on the other side now. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh Bella got it. Good girl, Bella. It's almost seven o'clock now. They're all going back to their uh, roosting spots to go hide and go to sleep for the night. So they're all starting to take off running and shortcut through the parking lot to home. There they go. All right, you guys, we are back home from seeing those wild monkeys yesterday. It was an absolute blast. We saw those beautiful guys. Make sure you guys go check them out down in the description. Go donate if you can to help out those monkeys there where they are at and um, at the end of the day, you guys, those monkeys are not hurting anybody whatsoever. Those monkeys are just actually eating invasive lizards, eating invasive plants, and minding their own business. They're just taking up a little patch of green in South Florida that is not bothering anybody whatsoever. If you guys see those monkeys, leave them alone, see them from a distance, videotape them, and let them be. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and put your post notifications on so you guys are updated for upcoming videos that we have in store for you guys all around the world and here on the ranch. See you guys later. Peace out, everyone.